Whether you're a newbie just starting out or want to take up the game, or like myself end up spending more time covering the game than actually playing it and could really use a good lesson, the LPGA Lesson Zone presented by Volvic is here to help. We are going to take you inside the Golf Zone tent to show you what a free 10-minute lesson is all about. Let's check it out. All right, I am inside the golf zone here. I've caught up with Robin Rosh, an LPGA Class A teaching and club professional who's going to give me my 10-minute lesson here today. Mm -hmm. Robin, where do we get started? Well, we're going to have some fun, that's for sure. Awesome. And welcome to the golf zone practice range here. And I'd like to begin by asking you a couple questions, if I may. Okay. Um, so first, I need to know if you have any injuries or physical limitations. I do have some back and neck injuries. Okay. Well, if there's anything that we do that causes any pain, please feel free to speak okay. up. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you already stretched and loosened up. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Do you have any specific goals for this very brief 10-minute lesson? I'd, I'd like to work on my game a little bit. I would love to play in a pro-am here at okay. some point, but I haven't gotten to play a lot. So I think just brushing up kind of on what I have and, you okay. know, playing a little better. So as you can see on this Golf Zone simulator, it shows us the yardage um, the miles per hour of your swing speed and lots of stats at the bottom. Yeah, that's awesome. But at the moment, I'd like you to just focus on warming up and feeling comfortable okay. over the ball. So we're not going to pay so much attention to the stats right now. Okay. Alrighty. How's that swing feeling right now, Amy? <laughs> Definitely warming up. Definitely warming up. <laughs> it's a work up. in progress. <laughs> okay. That was a good swing right there. Okay, so I've noticed a couple things. Okay. Um, let's talk about your setup position. Sure. And you know, posture is very important. So uh, for irons, we should actually bow from the hips. Okay. So that our spine is at about a two o'clock angle. Okay. And with a slight flex in your knees. Okay. So I'm just, yeah, uh, a little bit. There you go. Right in that area. You were okay. a little bit more upright. Okay. So I'd like to see once again your spine angle at about two o'clock. Okay. Also for irons, your ball position should be slightly forward of center. Okay. With a handle of the club leaning a little bit towards the target side. Okay. Um, so I noticed your ball position was a little bit forward. Okay. So uh, to help create that good bottom of the arc, um, and striking down on the ball for irons, I'd like that ball position to be just forward of center. Okay. So if you could just hop up and let's work on that posture okay. and ball position for a moment, please. Good. So bow from the hips, not so much at the waist. There you go. That looks so much better, Amy. That felt so much better. Good. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's do one more. And from this perspective, I'm looking at the, <laughs> I'm looking at your ball position. Ready. Very good. Great setup there. Good. I'd like to mention one thing about your grip as well. Mm -hmm. Could you just set up here again sure. and put your hands on the club? And I noticed that you are wrapping the thumb mm -hmm. around the shaft. Mm -hmm. Um, so just keep it there for a minute. I want to look at what you're doing under here. So, okay. So we'd like to say that the thumb should be half on, half off. Okay. So if you take this hand off, please, this thumb would be half on, half off. And so would this thumb, half on, half off. Okay. How's that feel? A little different. A little different. <laughs> yeah. So let's take the hands off the club and set them again, please. Okay. So what about this one again? Where should Both thumbs thumb should be half on, half, half off. On, oh, ha okay. Uh, and we don't want to wrap the thumb. So. Okay. Half on, half off. Yep. All righty. So I've given you three things right now. Uh, so bowing from the hips. So your, sp your spine angle is at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Watch your ball position. Okay. And just watch the thumb for the grip on the right okay. hand. Let's give it a try. Bow from the hips a little more. There you go. Good correction there. Great. How do you like that ball flight? <laughs> it feels so different just changing that little bit with the grip, like the way it feels in my right. hands. Right. So you can practice that while you're watching the news yeah. or a great movie. Um, but from what I see, for consistency, great. You're fixing your posture. That's awesome. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the takeaway. Yes. Alrighty. So may I have the club sure. for a moment? Yeah. Um, and so if you stand right where you are, um, the initial takeaway for you is what we call a little flat 
Uh -huh. So you're coming across versus more on plane. Mm -hmm. On plane would mean that here's the angle of the shaft at address, and as we take the club back, and if I'm in the halfway back position, that shaft would be at the same similar angle as address. Okay. Versus that would be flat. Mm -hmm and this would be really steep. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to stand here for a moment and I'll work with you on your takeaway okay. um, so that you can feel that it's more on plane. Okay, so ready? We'll do mm -hmm. this together. I have control over the club. How's that feel? Very different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, posture. Yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. So I like the top of your backswing. I'm looking at the left arm. I'm looking at your right. The club face is great. It's square at the top, which is awesome. So from here, this is the move where you tend to be a little bit like a baseball uh -huh. swing, which we don't we want to be more on plane. That would be a good angle. So this is something that we would work on with um, a player such as yourself who's mm -hmm. had experience and played for a number of years. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's always working on improving their swing throughout yeah, their absolutely. entire life. It's a, it's a lifelong journey, you know. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Absolutely. So just to summarize, um, could you tell me what you got out of the lesson oh so my gosh. far today? So many things, because I think when you haven't played, you know, or had a lesson in a while too, you kind of fall into some of those bad habits, you know, like you right. said with, you know, the the swing being a lot more flat. Um, so that was definitely a huge Good. one. Good. Um, with my grip too, I hadn't thought about that, that I was yeah. wrapping like my thumbs all the way around mm -hmm. the club. And even with my posture too, you know, and that has a huge effect it does. Um, at setup too. So that was a lot of Great. really important stuff. Well, you can always practice your posture in the mirror mm -hmm. at home uh, so that you're more comfortable and confident with okay. that. Um, and same thing with the grip. Uh, for your um, practice range work, if you were to go to the golf zone simulator, mm -hmm. I would recommend working on half swings okay. right now to get that shaft on plane halfway okay. back. All right. so awesome, Robin, you thank you so much. My pleasure. Be sure to check out your LPGA Lesson Zone presented by Volvic and get your free 10 minute lesson.